Today I'm going to show you how to multiply two binomials using the FOIL method. FOIL simply stands for first, outside, inside, and last. Let's look at the first example. We have the binomial x plus 3. We want to multiply that by the binomial x plus 2. Using the FOIL method, we're going to first look at the first two terms. So the first term of this binomial is x, and the first term of this binomial is also x. So if I multiply those together, that is my f in FOIL, and that is going to equal x times x. If I look at the outside terms, so my x is outside and the 2 is outside, so these are the two outside terms. If I multiply those together, that is my o and it's x times 2. My next two terms are going to be the inside ones, so I have a 3 and an x inside. Multiplying those together makes my i for inside is 3 times x. And the last letter in FOIL is L. L stands for last. So I'm going to look at the last two terms. The last term in the first binomial multiplied by the last term in the second binomial. Okay, that's my L. 3 times 2. If I multiply x times x, I'm going to simply get x squared. And if I multiply x times 2, I'm going to get 2x. 3 times x is just 3x. And 3 times 2 is simply 6. Okay, at this point you're going to look to see if you can collect any like terms and simplify this. I see I have a 2x and a 3x that I can combine. So this equals x squared. 2x plus 3x can be thought of as adding 2 oranges plus 3 oranges. So 2 plus 3 is 5x plus 6. And there's my final solution. So x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 2 gives me a final answer of x squared plus 5x plus 6. Let's try another example. x plus 4 multiplied by x minus 5. Two binomials multiplied together. We're going to use the FOIL method again. The F in FOIL stands for first, so we're going to multiply the first two terms in each binomial. So that's my F. And x times x is x squared. We're going to look at the O in FOIL next. O stands for outside, so we're going to take our two outside terms and multiply them together. Be careful now because this time it is negative 5, so we have x times negative 5 is negative 5x. The I in FOIL stands for inside, so we're going to look at our two inside terms here. 4 times x gives us 4x. And the L in FOIL stands for last. First, outside, inside, last. So we're going to look at the two last terms, which is 4 times negative 5. We have a negative times a positive, so we end up with a negative, and it's 20. Again, I'm going to look to see if I can combine any of these terms, and I see that I have 2 with x's, so I can put those together and simplify. This is going to equal x squared, negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1x. Instead of writing the 1, I can just write x and minus 20. So there's our final solution. x plus 4 multiplied by x minus 5 gives us x squared minus x minus 20. We're going to look at one last example. This one has two negatives in the brackets. 
So let's see how this works. Using the FOIL method, F stands for first. So we have the first term in this binomial multiplied the first term in this binomial. We have x times x is x squared. O in FOIL stands for outside. So we're going to take the two outside terms and multiply them together. Now we have positive x times negative 6. Positive times a negative gives us a negative, and it's 6x. Now we're at the i. i stands for inside, so we're going to take these two inside terms. Negative 2 times x gives us negative 2x. And the l in foil stands for last. So we're going to take our two last terms, negative 2 times negative 6. Now careful here. We have a negative 2 times a negative 6. When we multiply two negatives together, they become a positive. And 2 times 6 is 12. As we can see, we again have two like terms in the middle. We're going to combine those to simplify. x squared, now we have negative 6 minus 2. Negative 6 minus 2 is negative 8x plus 12. And there's our final answer. So x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 6 is x squared minus 8x plus 12. And there you have it. Quick and easy way to multiply two binomials by using the FOIL method. First, outside, inside, last. Thanks for watching.